some really nice communities here south of San Felipe a lot of expats live down here I don't know a whole lot about it other than there's some nice small somewhat affordable homes So once I got maybe two or three miles south of San Felipe, right about at the marina, um, they've repaved the road. It's really nice. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how thick they laid it and how many potholes are going to be ahead. But I'm really impressed with this stretch.
is about 15 kilometers south of San Felipe on Highway 5. The road is in excellent shape. It was crummy leaving San Felipe to about the marina, maybe two miles. And then uh, it was nice and repaved until this section, which looks like it was repaved eh, five years ago, maybe a little more, but it's, I haven't seen a pothole yet. just in a little Mazda with low profile tires so don't be afraid to come down to the Baja with just a regular car just take it easy and maybe it's a good idea to have a full-size spare I don't right now but that's a great idea So we're about 30 miles south of San Felipe. This is Highway 5. And this is Rudy's camp. You'll find coming up the 5 south a string, at least a dozen, maybe two dozen, uh, different dirt roads that lead to the Sea of Cortez. And some are nicer than others. There are some where there's homes built and uh, spots to pull your RV in or set the trailer up for the winter. So we'll drive down this road, take a look at uh, Rudy's camp. I have been listening to YouTube on uh, roaming through Telesel. I have T-Mobile and it's roaming on Telesel and it's been spotty in the last, I don't know, maybe five miles. So if internet is super important to you, it's important to me, before you pick one of these uh, camp spots outside of town, you better make sure uh, they get even a decent Mexican signal. Doesn't look like there's much going on here at Rudy's compared to uh, some of the others I passed, there must have been a hundred uh, RVs and things. This looks a little more mellow. Nah, I'm not going to take a chance driving down this hill and getting stuck. But this is just an idea of what you'll find off the five. I see another one about uh, two miles down the beach. Just, just a beautiful place to live or to keep the RV. Now this right ahead of me is Highway 5 and you can tell how it's been nicely paved. However, you, if you notice there's a four or six inch bump I'm gonna have to get up onto the highway. This is an issue when they repave, what they'll do is they'll repave a section and it might not be this tall but it'll be three inches tall where 
they'll just pave and then it'll stop and there'll just be a big bump that you smash into as you're driving down the road kind of uh their way of leveling out the road until they complete the new section so just keep that in mind if you see some shiny new blacktop ahead of you you might be uh hitting somewhat of a curb at 60 or 70 miles an hour Thank you. 